When you think of Nepal, certain images flash through your mind. Magnificent mountains, beautiful monasteries, and of course, Everest, the highest point on earth. But hardly anyone is aware that Nepal suffers from some of the world's highest rates of pulmonary diseases. In a way, that's not surprising. It is primarily because of limited access to medical interventions. Speaking to people in Nepal indicates that there are significant challenges in accessing primary care. Me and my friends were walking on the ice and then I slept and then I dislocated my thumb. So I had to wait for like three days to get the heli. My arm was in so much pain that I had to walk all the way to Lukla, like six hours of walking. The terrain is often pretty daunting. There is a shortfall in trained physicians, which means Nepal needs innovative and affordable healthcare mechanisms. That's where Cure.ai came in. My name is Prashant Warrior. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Cure.ai. Our company uses artificial intelligence to interpret radiology images. We have solutions that can interpret X-ray, CT scans, and ultrasounds. Our AI solution for chest X-ray has presently been deployed in 62 countries around the world and can be used to detect a host of pulmonary ailments from tuberculosis to lung cancer. And our mission has been to make healthcare truly accessible no matter where in the world. So, Cure.ai set its sights on one of the most extreme locations possible, Everest Base Camp. This is the story of Project Kumbu, a 10-day expedition from Kathmandu to the Everest Base Camp, located in the Kumbu region of Nepal. Prashant was joined on the mission by Dr. Saurabh Jha from the University of Pennsylvania and Michael Carney from Min X-Ray along with Dara Kalha and Sahil Chachar from Cure.ai. We started Project Kumbu. It's a multi-stakeholder collaboration between academics, private industry, and local Nepalese physicians. And our goal was to push medical imaging, bring it to areas that are geographically inaccessible. The goals of Project Kumbu were to evaluate what is available at the hospitals, and health centers in the Khumbu region, identify the gaps and fill those gaps, especially around medical imaging. The team discovered that the need for quality diagnoses was high and immediate. In some of the places like Lukla and Namchi Bazar, they have X-ray machines, but the number of radiologists in that region was zero. We met three doctors in the whole Everest region, which is home to around 10,000 indigenous population and more than 40,000 people who make the trek up to Everest Base Camp and Mount Everest every year. So even if you X-ray people in these locations, how do you get that X-ray read? That's where Cure comes in to interpret that X-ray within a minute with our artificial intelligence solution. We took a min X-ray handled X-ray system with us to the Everest Base Camp. And with our AI technology QXR, we were able to interpret the X-rays within seconds. At every stop on our way, Lukla, Namchi Bazar, Ferishe, Faplu, we made sure to visit local government hospitals and primary care centers. We interacted with physicians and patients to understand the challenges they face on a day-to-day -day basis and gained insight on the pulmonary health issues people face in the region. The team was able to help a resident of the region in detecting whether there was a fracture on a leg due to a fall that happened more than two weeks prior. They identified signs of TB on one of the porters and were able to diagnose a Sherpa with pulmonary edema and they did x-rays for many people along the way to the base camp at medical facilities in the region. The equipment we designated for this project was the Min X-ray Impact System which is a wireless DR battery powered system that doesn't require any external power to run. So we can deploy this system in a simple backpack configuration and have the power um, and uh, durability to sort of get these machines to really where they need to go. And our idea was to see what the infrastructure was like and see where we could help deliver uh, medical imaging in expertise. So that comprises two things. Firstly, is technology. Without technology, it's like, you know, without the, without the horse, the cart is useless. 
Um, and the second component is the interpretation, and that uh, is in the form of artificial intelligence. So what the doctors have a dilemma with is that many porters who work in that area, they, um, if you diagnose them with high altitude pulmonary edema and say, okay, you have HAPE without proper proof, um, you'll, have men, you'll make them descend to a lower elevation. And if you make them descend to a lower elevation, they could then lose their uh, contract and it could affect their livelihood. So you have to be very careful with the diagnosis. On the other hand, if you undercall high altitude pulmonary edema, that could be life-threatening. So it's, a very, it's, not a, it's not a very good choice to make. It's the devil and e blue sea type of um, choice. So a radiograph would be tremendously helpful in that region, in that particular hospital. And it would add a lot of diagnostic certainty to what can be a very confounding presentation. So the idea of taking the x-ray to people is kind of ingrained in the radiology culture. We don't want to bring people to the x-ray, we want to take the x-ray to the people. So from there, um, the team went to Everest Base Camp and shot what might be possibly make the Guinness Book of World Records, the, an x-ray at the highest elevation, and certainly artificial intelligence at the highest elevation. The good thing with AI is that unlike us who needed um, to rest and we were hypoxic, AI doesn't give a shit about altitude, which is quite nice, uh, nice of it to do that. And just like that, one step at a time, we made it to the Everest Base Camp, where we were able to do X-ray screening for several people at the Himalayan Mountain Rescue ER. This was probably the highest altitude that an X-ray has ever been taken, and certainly the highest point AI has been used to interpret an X-ray. Looking back on the experience, it would be easy to think of what we achieved with Project Khumbu, and feel that we successfully deployed a chest X-ray and AI interpretation solution at a record-breaking elevation. While that is certainly something to celebrate, for me, Project Khumbu was about acknowledging and raising awareness about the healthcare needs of the people in remote, underserved regions of the world. And this is where technology and AI can play a role in bringing equitable access to healthcare for these underserved communities. And I know for a fact that we can do a lot more in the Khumbu region we need to remember that illnesses are not restricted by land borders or natural barriers. So the question is, why should healthcare be restricted?